So it has huge claws, menacing fangs, scales, many limbs. I'm, uh, sorry, I, I'm a little confused. Is there art or something we can see just so we know what we're talking about? Yeah, the commission actually isn't ready, so probably should have put the encounter off a week, but here we are. Okay, and that's 40 damage. 40, 40 damage. Okay. Okay, okay, so you, it is, it's still bloodied. Um, not down yet. Uh, it's, so it, it's more bloodied. Hey, yeah, I really, I'm feeling like my subclass just isn't fitting both with my backstory and like my play style. I know it's probably too late to change, but I was wondering if we could make a couple changes just so that it aligns better for me. That's so fair. I mean, the monk subclasses just really don't. So tell you what, you bring some ideas to me. They can just be flavoring ideas. They can be mechanical ideas. We'll work it in. We'll test some stuff out. We'll see how it does. Okay. We'll make it work. Oh, actually, we're going to use this new rule where when something moves away from something else, you can use your reaction to attack it. That's just an opportunity attack? Yeah, it's, well, it's like an opportunity attack, but it's, but it's kind of elevated. So actually, when this creature attacks someone who's an orphan and also under five feet tall, it deals double damage. That's funny. I'm, a, I'm an orphan under five feet tall. Oh, oh, are you? That's... Oh. Oh. Was there, was there anything on my father's body? Oh, there absolutely is. A sword. And you know what? It's got your name engraved on it. And boy, does it look magical. Mm -hmm.